Hey, this is Ken from Homebrew Audio. I just learned something yesterday that I should have known about a long time ago, and I want to share it with everyone who uses Windows 10 to do audio recording. Now, one of the best ways to improve the quality of your audio, one of the first steps you can take is to move up to a good USB microphone. One of my favorites is the Samson C01U Pro like this. Um, a, a cheaper option is the Samson QU2, and of course the ever popular Blue Yeti, which I have one of, but it's loaned out right now, so I can't show it here. Anyway, one of the things that Windows 10 likes to do for some bizarre reason is to reduce the input gain of your USB microphone, with the Yeti as an exception because it has uh, a gain control on the outside of the mic. Most USB mics can only be controlled, the input gain can only be controlled through the Windows sound panel. And the only way to do that, or at least I thought, was to type control panel into the search bar in Windows 10, and then go to control panel, and then click on manage um, audio or whatever it is, there's some category for it. You click on that, and then you go to manage audio devices, and then you open it up, and then you can get into your microphone settings. That seemed ridiculous, and I did it all the time. Um, turns out there's a, a shortcut, which I will show you now. If you're going to be doing audio recording on a Windows computer, you absolutely need to be able to access the sound panel, which allows you to quickly see all of your microphones or input interface units and their status. But more importantly, it lets you drill down into the properties and be able to see the levels tab, which is something you're definitely going to want to do probably a lot, especially whenever you change microphones. In previous versions of Windows, you could access the sound panel just by clicking on the speaker down here on the right of the taskbar, or by typing the word sound into the search window at the bottom left. But in Windows 10, the speaker icon at the right of the taskbar just takes you to this super simplified options panel here that allows you to change the playback device. So that's not good. And if you type sound into the search window, you no longer see the option for sound settings pop up. You have to know that sound settings is what you're looking for. And in this case, it shows up because I typed it earlier. But even then, you're taken to what appears to be Windows' attempt to make things look simpler. But that's still not what you need. If you click on Manage Sound Devices, which sounds right, all you get is a list where you can disable or enable them. Still not what we're looking for. We're looking for properties. So that seems like you should be able to click device properties, right? But nope, still this simplified looking screen. It's only when you click on additional device properties within the device properties window that you can get to the right place. It's crazy. I eventually discovered that I could get there much easier by typing control panel into the search, then clicking on control panel, then clicking on the hardware and sound category, and finally, under the sound category there, clicking on manage audio devices, and then I could get to the sound panel. This is what I have been doing for the last couple of years, and it's still a pretty ridiculously long process. I do this so often that eventually I thought, surely there's a quicker way to get there. And I found out that, yes, there is. You can create a desktop shortcut like this one that will take you straight to the sound panel, just like this. Here's what to do to get your own sound panel shortcut. Start again by going to the control panel. And then when those categories pop up, go to the top right of the screen where it says view by. Category is the default. Click the drop down arrow and click on small icons. This will bring everything out of their categories so you can see all the options. Find the one that says sound with the speaker icon next to it. Right mouse click on that and click on create shortcut. It will say, Windows can't create a shortcut here. Do you want the shortcut to be placed on the desktop instead? Say yes. Now you will see this icon on your desktop. If you click on that, presto, you are taken directly to the sound panel. I really should have known about this a long time ago. 
but at least I got there in the end. If you use Windows 10, do this immediately. Not exactly positive if this is the same in Windows 11, but I think it is. It'll save you lots of time as you do more audio recording on your computer.